in my opinion, that is one of the best tips for pay lake fishing. What's up you guys, Chris with Walk Talk Fish. Hope you guys are having a good day. Have you ever been to a pay lake and you're fishing there for hours, you're not getting any bites, you get one bite, and someone rolls around, someone rolls in and they catch one fish within the first two minutes of being there. You guys, today I'm gonna go ahead and give you, I'm gonna give you three tips that I believe help a lot of people catch more fish, helps me catch more fish. I'm gonna go ahead and share them with you guys right now. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because at the end, I'm gonna give you my personal favorite tip that helps me catch more fish personally. So let's get into it. Okay, first things first, we're gonna go with changing your baits. So depending on what time of year it is, whether it's summer, winter, fall, spring, it really doesn't matter. Always change your baits. I myself, being new to pay lake fishing within the last two years, I'm bad with it. I've seen other people do it. You guys, if you show up to fish, bring a lot of other bait choices. One day they may want this, the next they probably won't. I've, I've spent time out there myself. I've sat out there and it's been slow roast for hours, not getting any bites and someone's across the lake catching fish with a different kind of bait. And if they're catching fish with it, they're not gonna give you some. So make sure you're always changing your baits, always trying different baits. Uh, put fresh bait on there as well. Like if you're using cut bait, put a fresh piece of cut bait on there. It may make the world a difference. Number two, change your depths. Guys, if you're pay lake fishing, please don't be the old head with a, bob, with a, with a sinker and a hook. It can work, yes, but fish with a bobber like you're supposed to, with your bobber stoppers. If you don't know how to rig your pay lake setups, that's fine. I got a link in the description. It will take you to one of my past videos that shows you how I rig up my stuff. Change your depths. Lakes can be all the way up to 20, 25 foot deep, guys, so you can fish on top, you can fish on bottom, you can fish in middle. Depending on the time of the year, you need to be changing your depths. This is one of the key things depending on what bait you're throwing, the depth you're fishing to get where these fish are moving around and laying at. That is very important. Three, move, 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 move. That's one of my favorite things is staying mobile. I carry a cooler, carry a net. Sometimes I don't, barely don't even carry a net. I use someone else's and carry your bait. You guys, move, move. You gotta be able to stay mobile. You gotta be able to, I'm not saying go to one spot for five minutes and move, but learn how to troll. Move here fish you're not getting no bites move these lakes are massive guys sky lake where i go a lot they have two lakes walk all the way around them troll let it sit for 20 minutes here and move let it sit for 20 minutes there in one spot if you have the right bait you're fishing the right depth you're fishing in the right spot you guys can hit a fish three things move change your bait change your depth you guys with those three things you can catch a fish within a couple hours i promise you and if you don't guess what that's pay lake fishing. It's not like fishing in the bathtub like everybody says, but that's a different story. I'm not here to argue. So my personal favorite tip that I can recommend anybody when it comes time to pay lake fishing, whether you've been doing it for years, whether you're new and just getting into it and you're curious on how things work in the pay lake world, be observant. Always pay attention, be very observational, ask people questions. Some people won't tell you what baits they're using, they won't tell you what depths they're using, but look over, man, pay attention. Like I have a video, one of my very first videos, it's back in last March, of a guy caught a 52 pound flathead next to me. I didn't know what they was fishing with. I went and looked, it was chicken. Be observant. If you wanna know what they're catching fish on, look on their hook. Are they getting live bait out of a bucket? Are they using cut bait? Sometimes you can get lucky and see their bobber stopper and bead. Be observant, you guys. If you may not be able to fish on top of someone because it's rude and there's no space, but you can definitely get close to the depth they're throwing and the bait they're using. And that ties in with everything, you guys. Be observant. It's the best tip I can give you. I appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, if you found this video helpful. We'll drop a couple more. I love educating you guys with the knowledge that I have and the knowledge I'm continuing to get. Thank you guys so much. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that uh, notification button just in case you want to catch the next one. You guys will get notified when I post it. I appreciate it. See you on the lake this year. Walk, talk, fish out.